Say blues. This is your boy Georgie Princess coming to you live with my static friend here. Okay. So I recently blew out my fucking socket. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Boo boo. And then also, I'm working on some other things. But so my sockets, um, it pooped. It pooped on me. So, uh, I had to replace it. Okay, so I no longer went with that. This is the part that I picked up. Okay, it's a Dorman. Conduct tight, double contact front and rear socket. I'm not even going to try to read that in the bottom. Uh, but the type of bulb you need to get is a 1157. Okay, so I matched that with this here Sylvania. Okay. Sylvania dual filament 1157 amber okay all right okay so here's what we got there was absolutely nothing that I needed it other than the screwdriver Napa was having a set sale so I bought a whole shit ton of them for like 20 bucks so kudos for Joseph oh don't want to do that because it may lock on me so this one is equipped with any lock and I theft so so here's my little setup I got here so I bought that that 1157 housing or socket or pigtail socket is what I called it so as you see, I got a little bit of jank, a little jank. So the brown is gonna be your daytime running. Don't do that. So the brown is gonna be your daytime running, which I spliced it into this little bulby here. The pad, pad. Is <laughs> That's better for y'all, so y'all can see my face. But I powered it into this little bulby here. Okay, this is all recorded on a LGB30. Right there on that little bulby. Can't kill this phone. Um, I'm going to be thorough with this one. Well, not as thorough as I should be. I'm going to try to see if I can zoom in right here. Ah, there you go. Spice it into right there. That goes into the twisted ones, two two right there. Okay, this is the eleven fifty seven wire harness. I'm fixing to tape up. Get it all nice and neat. There it is. Dual filament. Now with the ninety seven or the ninety eight is what I have. The Frontier here does not come with a running light, a DRL for the amber. So I could probably switch that out with a clear bulb or maybe a blue bulb, which would be pretty cool. Sorry about that, the foggy. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's put this on. So as you see, mine reads that right there. And my gauge reads, we can't really show that. So yeah. Okay. So now I have DRL. All right. See if we can't focus in on that. All right. All right.
Alright. Right on. Sweet. So that's what I did. <laughs> Look at that right there down there at the vent. It's empty. Well, yeah. Um, that's going to get this thing legal. So. My cruise control doesn't work, so I'm going to find out what's going on with that next. I got a John Deere bottle cap opener that used to light up pretty retro. Yeah, because the 90s. Alrighty, guys. Let's see if it squeals on startup. Oh, yeah. It's all censored. You can't see nothing, so. Alrighty. Thank you for tuning in. Again, this is my setup here. These parts. Now, I done showed you how to do it. You go out there and you do it yourself. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon. Bye now. That ain't gonna work on my trailer. <laughs>